I know you, I've, I've heard that you did like a hundred hours of studying, like the last year or something. Oh, 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 insane. Oh, we'll go into that. Um, and then people go to ED and things, which is <laughs> funny. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, I'm Harry and I'm a third year medical student based in Auckland, New Zealand. And today I'm joined here with... Hi guys, my name's Charlotte. I'm a second year nursing student at AUC. So since she's a nursing student and I'm a medical student, we've got this idea that we'd make a video that gives you guys a brief sort of overview of what nursing school and medical schools like in New Zealand. And before we get started, I'd just like to mention that everything that we discuss in this video would be from our personal experience, so... It may not be reflective of everyone's experience. Yeah, so. so so it might not be representative of every single nursing or medical student out here. But with that caveat out of the way, let's get straight into it. Yeah, so the first part is how to enter each, each school, so medical school and nursing school in New Zealand. So do you want to get started or, or should I go first? Oh, you can go first. Yep. Yeah. So if you're wanting to start nursing school in New Zealand, especially if you're wanting to do AUC, which is where I go, then all you really need is a university entrance. You don't need any like fancy grades or anything. You just need university entrance, which if you're doing NCA, it's level three certificate. Um, and then you just apply online. There's a couple of documents you've got to fill out, like a police checker history document. Yeah, I think that's the same process. Well. Yeah, and that's yeah. really it. <laughs> Sounds pretty easy. Yeah, yeah it sounds, sounds <laughs> nice like a straightforward easy. procedure. Yeah. So for New Zealand medical schools, it's it's uh, a bit more complicated. So in year 13, you apply to what we call a overlapping first year. We've got two medical schools in New Zealand. We've got Otago Medical School and Auckland Medical School, which is just across the street there. Basically, you apply to this first year using your high school grades. There's a minimum threshold and off the back of my mind, I can't remember the rank score for NZA and, and for Cambridge, it's something like 300. Uh, yeah, so so if you want to check that out, just go to the university website. I'll link it down in the, in the description. But basically you apply to the first year and then in your overlapping first year, which is either Biomed first year in Auckland or Health Science first year in Otago, or there's a Health Science in Auckland as well, um, but most people go for Biomed. So you, you apply for medical school, second year medical school, using your f overlapping first year grades. And I'm not going to go into too much detail because you could. There's lots of information on the web on online, but um, I'll make a separate video about my own experience of getting in, which would be interesting. Yeah. So the second part would be a brief run through of what the program's like. So I yeah, yeah. Okay. You can go first. So. So with nursing degree, it's a three-year course. Um, in your first year, your first semester is all theory-based and you pretty much learn about how the environment affects your health, anatomy and lifespan and development. And then in your second semester, it's really exciting because you start clinicals, labs as well, where you learn all of your practical skills. You have your first lot of clinical placements at an aged care facility. Um, and that's your first year pretty much. Your second year, um, which is what I'm doing now, is all pathophysiology based. You've got three sets of placements. One's an acute nursing at a hospital, one's a mental health, and one's a life, uh, sorry, a disability placement in the community. Um, and then your third year, in your last semester of third year, you become pre-reg. So you have an extended placement, I think it's like it's all I think like 360 hours or something and oh, you I know it's a long <laughs> placement and then you get given more responsibility of your um, patients and it's just kind of like a transition into nursing so that's how the program mm. works <laughs> sounds like quite a a compact yeah degree. it's very yeah. like bunched together yeah. <laughs> I kind of feel like it should be four years but that's just my yeah, that's, opinion that's what people say right that's what people at Auckland nursing school what, yeah. what they say as well and it should yeah. be four years yeah. I think it's just there's a lot of content that's kind of crammed into three years but yeah yep so back to me um brief overview of medical school in New Zealand it's 
about the same for Auckland and Otago, so this would be applicable generally. So, like I said, you apply to the, so it's a six year degree, but you only spend five years in medical school. So, because the first, over, the overlapping first year, that's that competitive first year that you used to apply for second year medicine, it's part of the degree. So, for, for that first year, you learn everything about, you know, basic chemistry, biology, some physics, which is, I think it's useless, but um, anyway. So, that's just basic science learning in first year. And then in second year, and third year, which is what we call the preclinical year, which is what I'm in right now. I'm in I'm in my third year of my medical degree, but second year of medical school. So we in second and third year preclinical, we basically go through every organ system pretty much in the human body and we learn anatomy, physiology, pathology, diseases, pharmacology relating to all the human body systems. So in second year we learn pretty much everything below the neck okay, yeah. and then third year we learn everything above the neck plus your immune system your blood system or hematology there's one module at the end of third year that we're doing now it's everything combined together so kind of like a big revision of everything and that's preclinical second and third year in third year in the second semester so the second half of the year we go to placement once a week one day a week at either Auckland Hospital, North Shore Hospital or Middlemore Hospital. It's randomly allocated, don't ask me why. So that's just the transition into the clinical year, which is four to sixth year. So that's a bit easier to go over. So fourth and fifth year, we rotate through different specialties and we go to ward rounds, basically, basically just like a doctor, yeah. you know, but we, we just follow the team around and learn along with each specialty in that's fourth and fifth year and then at the end of fifth year we sit a, a really big OSCE and once we pass that OSCE then we're allowed to move on to sixth year and that's that's the difference between I think New Zealand and overseas medical schools in overseas medical schools they sit their big final at the end of final year whereas for us we sit it at the end of fifth year which is second to the last year and then in final year we're being called something called trainee intern which is basically like um, an apprentice and I think you get paid 27,000 New Zealand dollar or something Sorry. yeah so <laughs> yeah for an intern well you're still a, you're still a student mm -hmm. technically yeah. but, but that's pretty nice and then you you're you're expected to take around a third to half of the workload of a house officer which is a intern doctor mm -hmm. basically so that's that so your hour placements we don't get paid for them like yeah, none but... of them so it's yeah. really nice that you get paid for like one oh, of them it's one yeah <laughs> <laughs> i mean it's twenty-seven thousand. it's cheap labor basically i, know I mean yeah i mean it's it's, it's still good, good. It's, yeah it's a little decent pack, a little yeah pack. yeah for sure so third part would be life during and outside of studying so life you know outside and during medical and nursing school okay so it's in terms of like balance and stuff like that yeah okay so with with studying i feel like because aut is not really competitive and all of our lectures and stuff like there's not a lot i mean there is a lot of content but i don't feel like it's as much as medical school right so i feel like it's quite easy to balance like social life and if you've got a part-time job like I do, it's, I feel like it's quite easy to balance everything. On top of all of that, I'm also doing this thing that my uni offers called an AUC Edge Award, which is like an employability award, and you can put it on your CV, it gets you volunteering hours and stuff. So I'm balancing like all of my studying, my placements, part-time work, social life, and also this employability award. So I feel like it's manageable to balance everything. So say a rough estimate, I, I know it's pretty hard, but roughly how many hours do you study each week? So if it's a good if it's a good week and I've managed everything well, I would say like about 30 hours a week. 30 hours a week? Yeah. That's, so is that in, including uni hours? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Yeah, okay. I know you, I've, I've heard that you did like 100 hours of studying like last year or something. 
Which I'll, is I'll, insane. I'll, I'll go into that in, yeah. in a separate video. I would, that's a horrible experience, but we'll, <laughs> we'll go into that. Um, what was I going to say? So around 30 hours of studying. That's a good week. Yeah. So is it both first and second year? Yeah. Around the same? Yeah. And, and so you Although, probably spend amount the same, about the same amount for your life outside of yeah. studying. Yeah. Although I would say that with second year when you've got placements, it becomes a lot more difficult like when, when I've got placement it becomes like all together including placement like 90 hours a week or something so it becomes more intense because you do like 40 hours of placement a week and then you've got like 30 40 hours of studying and stuff that you also do so and then you've got your you mm. know maybe 20 or 30 hours yeah. of life outside of uni as well yeah true so when, when it's placements it's a little bit harder to manage everything but for the most part I'd say it's easy to have like a good balance if you're organized and you manage things well okay what about you well, sounds like a very well balanced <laughs> nursing student yeah thank you um so life during and outside of medical school so i think different stages of medical school you've got a different balance in terms of life in uni and mm -hmm. outside of uni so for example in your overlapping first year if you're coming straight from high school you're going to be expected to pretty much study more in that single year, more than every year of your life combined, because it's so competitive and, and the jump from high school to uni is so big. Yeah. And you need to get, you know, above 90% for everything in order to be competitive enough. So for that first year, pretty much nothing. You study, end of story. And then for second and third year, it's definitely manageable. So for second year, which is the first year in medical school, the amount of content that you learn, it's twice as much as the amount that you learn in first year. But then the difficulty doesn't really go up. And, and because once you get into medical school, you only need to pass. Yeah. So obviously it's way easier to get a C compared to yeah. an A plus. Yeah. So I'd say you've got, you'll be having a decent amount of time outside of studying. So you could work a part-time job. Lots of people work part-time jobs, join uni clubs. They also have various roles in, in OMSA, which is Auckland or Otago, Medical, Otago Uni Medical Students Association. Obviously people have lots of social events. There's lots of drinking. <laughs> yeah, in medical, yeah, we've, we don't drink regularly, but we, we drink more like once a month, but like a huge and binge. It's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then people go to ED and things, which is <laughs> funny. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm going to spare that detail. And then same for third year, but then for third year, in terms of the amount of content that you learn, it's around the same, but then there's bits and pieces of assignments here and there, which is quite annoying, adds into your kind of workload. And then you've, you've got placements once a week mm -hmm. on top of that, which is one day a week. And, and, and that's adds on top of that as well. So third year, is, third year is a bit harder than second year, but then if you manage yourself well and gotten used to second year medicine, third year wouldn't be a problem. In terms of numbers of hours that I study, yeah. I'd say I would study probably around 40 hours yeah. a, a week, including going to lectures and yeah. everything, and then probably around 20 years to 30 hours of, of extracurricular activities. And then clinical years, four to six year, because you're in the hospital five days a week, 7.30 to eight until some point in the afternoon. That means that it's a bit harder in order to fit in extracurricular activities. But from what I've heard, you'll still be able to maintain around 10 hours of 10 to 20 hours of extracurricular. Mm -hmm. So if you're good at time management and staying cons consistent on top of your content and assignments that you have to do, then it shouldn't be too challenging, but it's definitely a skill. Yeah, yeah. I, I agree. Like you kind of have to build up your time management skills in order to like get through everything yeah. and keep that balance. Yeah. But, uh, if, if you're not time managing, then you're not going to yeah. do very well. Yeah, I've, I'm, I'm really bad at time managing, so I, I just, 
I do all the things that I enjoy and then I leave <laughs> studying to like the, the weekend before yeah to, to the weekend before the exam and then I just like, just cry yeah just cry all and forget every yeah so that's probably not the best way to, to go about it but you know yeah as long as it gets you yeah in terms of medical school each year of our degree it's seventeen thousand dollars for each year. Seventeen thousand. Yep, seventeen thousand each year.